Hello and welcome to this course from Bigger Plate on using iThoughts for the Mac. In this session we're going to show you how to add, move and remove content from your mind map. So in order to add a main topic to your map, so here our main topics are the days of the week and they build out from our central topic here. You simply click on your central topic to get this border. This shows that this is your central topic is highlighted at the moment and you simply press the tab key. This will give us another main topic down here which we call extra day for sake of example. If I wanted to create another subtopic off here, so continuing to work down through the levels of my mind map, I'd simply hit tab again. And here you can see I can continue doing this and building downwards. So I'll get rid of these just for to show you how it's done. If I wanted to now create another sibling topic off this subtopic, I would hit the enter key and this creates another topic alongside the same level. So you'll see if I keep pressing enter, it keeps building on the same level. So as a general rule of thumb, think about using the tab key to build down and create subtopics and the enter key or the return key to create sibling topics. Hopefully as you go on, that terminology will become more and more clear. Now if I wanted to delete these, obviously they've got nothing in them, so they're not very helpful to us. I simply click on it and press the backspace or delete key. And I can continue doing that and they go in a nice puff of smoke to make it a bit more entertaining. If I wanted to move the topics around in my map, so at the moment they're all aligned on the right here, which I don't really like, I quite like them to be a bit more balanced, I can simply click and drag. And you'll see it moves it over to the other side of my map. If I wanted to, let's say, put extra day below Sunday, so I wanted to build it into part of Sunday, I simply click, drag, I thought it shows you a little arrow showing where it's gonna go, and there it is. I can move it into Saturday, and if I open up Saturday, here it is. I can move it to be beneath to do, I can move it alongside PM, and you'll see it keeps giving you this little arrow suggesting where the map, where the topic is going to go. So there we go, if we close all that down. So very quickly, very simply, that is how to add topics, add content, how to delete content, and how to move it around. Now what we've just demonstrated is the use of the shortcut keys, so things like return, tab, backspace, and so on to add and remove content. If you didn't fancy that and you wanted to use uh, you wanted to use clickable buttons for example, you'll see up here you have these two buttons. So this one here as the diagram suggests creates a subtopic so if I click that it creates a topic on a lower level and then equally you'll see this one as the top as the diagram suggests creates a sibling topic so if I now click that it'll give me a sibling topic there. We'd suggest using the shortcut keys just because they're quicker and a bit more efficient, but if you fancied it, you also have those two options there.
Hello. In this session, we're going to be showing you how to navigate around your iThoughts map using the cursor in your, on your Mac. So Macs obviously have their very snazzy ability to scroll and pinch to zoom and all of these things, and they all apply in iThoughts. So for example, in order to move, scroll my map up or down, I simply place two fingers on the trackpad, on the mouse cursor, whatever you like to call it, and I move them up and down. And that makes my map move up and down. Equally, to move side to side, I simply place two fingers on the trackpad, and move it side to side. So you can see this gives me a lot of mobility and I can quickly and easily move my map around. If you don't have this uh, this functionality enabled on your trackpad, then you'll be able to use the markers down here, the um, the scroll bars, that's the word I'm looking for, and you'll be able to move like that. I'd recommend using the trackpad two finger functionality just because it speeds everything up. Alternatively, you could click on your central topic here and drag your map around like so. In order to zoom in or zoom out of your map, again, you can simply use the two pinch, uh, spread your fingers or pinch your fingers together on the trackpad. So if I place two fingers in the middle and spread them apart, it zooms in. And equally, if I place two fingers on the trackpad and pinch them together, it zooms out. Alternatively, you can come down here you'll see you have this at the moment it says 123 percent down here so I can click there and give me lots of options so I can say 50 percent we'll zoom it right out I can say 200 percent we'll zoom it nicely in you'll also notice you have these options here fit map for example we'll give you we'll center your map nicely and give you the ability to see all of the content there in so you'll notice that it's a little bit zoomed out because it's factoring in all of this additional content if I then say fit selection, it'll zoom in on where I'm highlighted. So at the moment I have Thursday selected, so if I hit this fit selection option, it'll just show me to Thursday and all its associated subtopics. So I'm just going to zoom out again by pinching my fingers together and then scroll back into the middle. And finally, you have this auto option, which again will take you to the topic you've highlighted. And then if I move around, so just for your awareness, I'm simply hitting the up and down keys just to move around the map and it will follow me around. So here I've hit the, the back direction, it's gone back to the central topic, so it's zoomed in and shown the, uh, zoomed out sorry, and shown the whole map. If I was now hit the equivalent of the right directional button, it'll go to Monday, and then it'll continue to zoom in as I go. So here's just a few options, or the, the most common and the most useful ways of navigating your map in iThoughts.